All right, hello. Um, back to the dollar bill. I don't know if I'm ever going to get done with the dollar bill. <laughs> but I wanted to show you this, this fold that I've been showing you recently. I want to go back through it with something and just just show you another number um, that comes out of this thing. So I sh the last time I showed you this, um, we were doing 411 with it. And the time before that, I was showing you 49. And um, let's just do this uh, fold real quick. So what we're doing is we're taking uh, this portion of the this side where it where the pattern splits and then matching it up over on this side with the with the pattern okay now what you have to remember though is when you do this you have to kind of have the borderline um, skewed and I think there's a reason for that I think that's you know part of the sort of narrative of the 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 break in the borderline when <laughs> the borderline being the Hoover Dam, the break in the the borderline when the rebirth ritual happens. Okay. Anyway, so what we do is we move that over there, stick those two together. The bottom one matches up. Oh well, I, I got it a little bit off, but it's pretty close. Um, and what we end up with, if we flip this now, uh, rotate one eighty. When we rotate that, we can now highlight some of this. So let's get a brushes and let's get a nice color. And let's go back through the the symbolism. So the one is the one is Neo. Okay, going to be rebirth. So we can put a little man here. Okay, um, and he's gonna he's gonna be rebirthed. He's gonna come out of here where the water is breaking here with the wave. Okay, out of the horseshoe okay out of the womb and so we've got this big block of leaves and berries here okay and I had said down the bottom here you know this is uh, could very well be for me this is a D for sure and then this we've gone through two or three different things this could be um, the letter I it could be a number one as well for um, April Fool's Day um, there's also the number 11 in here maybe as well with these two parts to this uh, sort of the number one split off into two parts okay so two number ones now so we've gone through all that lot but what I didn't do is I didn't show you the number jump that was right here with the leaves and berries hopefully you can hear me all right I've got, this, I've got a blanket on me right now might be blocking the old microphone um, but we need to go through these leaves and berries for the jump um, and do a number jump okay so if we count up the berries so we've got one berry here and then what we've got is a set of there's actually two berries right here they're difficult to see um, and then there's two here as well difficult to see um, without magnifying it up so you can get a, you can go to Wikipedia and magnify this thing up pretty good and see what there is um, but anyway this gives us five berries okay and then we can count the leaves one two three um, four five six seven eight okay so it's an 85 which I've mentioned before okay so we've got an 85 um from this you know from where this dude's going to eject out of the matrix and be reborn okay so this 85 right but what what we've got to also remember is we've also got a number down the bottom here which is 2 and 2 here okay so we've got two leaves there and two leaves here the 22 again how many times have we seen that recently the 22 it's just such a it's just such so loaded um, anyway if we do a number jump now I want to show you this number jump that concerns the 85 okay so we'll do a couple of number jumps that concern the number 85 and you'll see that it's quite interesting so I've got two two in here 
2024 and 85 days from 22 takes us to 427 now the synchronicities are very interesting here because uh, Sandra just left me a comment uh, a quite in-depth comment as well it's on the last the previous video if you want to go read it there's some good stuff there um, but she mentions the uh, the Orthodox Eastern Orthodox um, uh, Holy Week is starting on 427 so this is their Easter week coming up um, so 427 that's really interesting okay so I didn't have a whole bunch of stuff for 427 I you know it was not really on my radar <laughs> before I did this um, number jump just I think I just did it last night I don't know when I did it but it's only been in the last day or so uh, this is all sort of fresh very fresh stuff that I'm doing here now um, usually a lot of this stuff that I show you I've usually been sitting on it for a few weeks normally till I get round to doing a video but this is completely fresh um, anyway so 427 okay we'll go and look at some 427 stuff in a minute uh, so this is kind of interesting for a potential rebirth date right because it's you know it's not really anything super duper special at the moment but um, actually Sandra did mention this as well but if you go look at the um, day of the year where am I at come on let me get all the way back up here uh, if we look at April the 27th what we're going to notice is that it's the 118th day of the year yes that very special balance number um, and of course we've got the 248 which ties back with the sidereal orbit of Pluto so we've got a very it's a nice little it's got some the num the days of the year it ties in very nicely with everything we've been looking at right what's also mental completely crazy about this is if you go to the other side of the year now and let's look at what the 118th uh, days left in the year is 254 248 days sorry um, gone and what we see <laughs> is it's the 4th of September it is the last year was Labor Day and um, this is the other jump um, in the dollar bill with that last fold that I showed you with the oh, it's the Labor Day uh, Four nine fold where Washington's head pops up out of the dam. Okay, so this is absolutely blooming mental. Okay, um, simply that it ties back like that. What we can also do is we can go back to this now, and we can go. We can do eighty five days the other way. So if we just uh, drop down. Okay, we need to get to eighty five. Right, hang on go hang on that's too much let's do this um do 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 sorry bear with me 85 days <laughs> look where we've ended up you just can't write this i'm telling you 11 9 so we've got the the 9th of uh, november there uh for a nice 9 11 reference so that is pretty pretty blooming mental as well and also what we can do is if we go back um, let's go and just out of curiosity let's just see where Easter lands okay <laughs> the 58th the 58th day uh, number jump here the 58th number jump okay and so instead of 85 we're doing 58 from that date okay so that's pretty crazy as well um, and then we can obviously go on let's just go on and I'll show you um, that was also interesting look at that 88 days from from that point on as well um, and I'll show you why that that I'll kind of show you why that's interesting here in a minute as well um 
not that that's kind of encoded there or anything, but um, what was I doing again now? Um, I wanted to go I'm way too far here. No, I, I wanted to, ah, I wanted to go back. Sorry, I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, do 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 do. There we go. Fifty-eight days. Uh, twelve six. So December the sixth. Uh, it's kind of interesting with the one two six there. Um, I haven't really got anything off the top of my head for the 6th of December. Anyway, that's 58 days the other way from Easter. Now, I just wanted to show you one other thing with that date. Okay, I wanted to show you the, from 427, I wanted to show you from, uh, I guess we can do the other, we'll do the other, um, Hoover Dam date as well, but this is the the date that the federal government took over the Hoover Dam. This is the um, the fed. I call it the federal birthday, the birth into the system for the Hoover Dam. Okay, uh, and it is the first of March, nineteen thirty six, through to this twenty seventh of April this year, and if we include the end date. We're getting the three two two. Now, the reason why, well, thirty, we're getting thirty two thousand two hundred. But three two two there, again with the skull and bones. Yeah, it's a skull and bones number. But um, that number ties into the seventeenth of November, the eighteenth of November. Important stuff with this balance of Pluto again. Um, and as that's the mid point between the two cycle, the two orbital cycles of Pluto, and also um, what was I going to say? It's also the two one three this year as well. Okay, so the the thirteenth of February, the start of the whole um, Lucas number sequence, and that all ties back in with Pluto and nine eleven. Yada yada yada, and so it's important. Three two two is important. It's a nice tie-in with that date, you know, um, and tie back to the Hoover Dam. We can go ahead. Let's put the um, the other birthday of I can't remember what it was off the top of my head. Um, what the number jump was? Come on, being quicker just type that in, Dan. Okay, there's our other number jump from the Hoover's, uh, you know, finished date through to that same date is uh, 32353. So this is, again, this is kind of interesting with the, I want to say with the Cross of Lorraine. I could, if I remember, I'll show you why that's interesting. But anyway, uh, 32,353. Anything interesting with the with the years and days? Yes, because it's 88 years, 211 days. So that's pretty, very interesting as well. 88 years and 211 days. That's pretty interesting. Right. That's the number jumps out of the way. Let's go to the, um, let's go to this chart and I'll show you a couple of things. Let's go back to the, what do I want to go to here? Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you. Um, hang on a minute. Let's go to this real quick. I don't save that. We don't need it anymore. Um, so we had the eclipse. So with this adjusted chart now, okay, where I've aligned all the, you know, all these ones are aligning a bar bar this here with this six right here right but all these ones are aligning now right what is fascinating was we were we had the eclipse date at the center of this thing okay and we ended up with um, pi also the the actual numbers of pi aligning with the with the center numbers here as well and 
the reason why this is set up like this is because this the actual numbers of pi right here this is the start right here is aligned with the numbers of the pi cycle which is different this is a Fibonacci type sequence of pi I know regular people are probably getting fed up of listening to me say that but these are two different sequences of course um, this one here as far as we know doesn't have an end <laughs> whereas this one does okay this has a beginning and an end um, now oh dear oh dear um, I wanted to show you what I wanted to show you actually is right here the first thing I wanted to show you is the if you if we read this number backwards here we've got the 274 again this has a personal reference for me um, I had another number I was talking about with Madonna um, and it was something to do with my old my like the first telephone we had telephone number um, and this has the same synchronicity for me. This is two seven. Uh, my old phone number was two seven two four. Okay, so these numbers obviously have a personal reference for me. Um, but what's interesting is if we look above this, I was just mentioning about um, Harrison Ford. We've got Harrison Ford's birthday right above this number here. Okay. So this is very extremely fascinating to me. Um, and I will say there is another. Um, I, I'll tell you one thing. He does the damn jump, right, in The Fugitive. So this is interesting with this idea of being reborn again, right? Well, if we can look here, this 5, which then goes to the other side of the table here, to the 16, this is Pierce Brosnan's birthday, I think. I hope I'm getting this right, you know, but pretty sure it's the 16th of May. Um, and we have the same number. <laughs> well, not the same number, but the same set of numbers um, next to his birthday. Okay, yeah, they're jumbled up, I know. That's a bit of a stretch, but it's kind of interesting. Um, there was something else as well. What was the other thing where that matched? Something else matched. I can't remember now. This shows. This is in Lucas numbers. This uh, this seven two four backwards. So we can just come up to Lucas numbers and find it again. Uh, where is it? Seven two seven. There, it's right here. Yes, right next to the five nine. Five, which I've talked about before. I'm not going to go into it, but there's a ton of nine five stuff, nine five references in Vegas as well. Um, what else? What else? Um, I want to show you something else that I've done as well. So I just want to show you where that tied in. Um, I don't really have a ton of other stuff for this. I just really wanted to show you those number jumps, how it tied into the to the back to this four nine again. Um, I just thought it was pretty crazy, really. Um, and actually, what is kind of interesting is if you look here, well, let's yeah, look at the 4 9 there and the numbers that are surrounding that 4 9 that you know, the, <laughs> the two and the 4 4 on each side and the the two the two seven here so I mean I don't know anyway I, it's kind of easy to pick you know those kind of little things out that's you know does that really mean anything I don't know it's kind of interesting I guess um, let me show you this I changed the King's Cross um, well I didn't really change much on it I just realigned you know the number line here so we're we're lined up here now with the ones all the way down and of course we've got that row of pi down the bottom of here that is um still got the six aligning here again you know here's Piers Brosnan's 
birthday and now you can also see here what's right next door to it is the nine five again and the five you know so you can see that it you know that number there we know corresponds with um that two seven four as well in a different area in the table so you know i don't know kind of interesting um I can't remember really what I wanted to say about this now actually. I just wanted to say that I've 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 adjusted it and what you'll notice is what's this this is basically the center of the table now. I didn't bother taking this red stuff out from the previous version. But again, you know, what's at the center of this thing? Mayday, okay? Um I I still can't help thinking that you know, the mayday thing um the connection with mayday is going to be more to do with the the space needle i think um just because of the shape of the space needle and everything i don't know <laughs> just because the it, it looks like a big maypole um i don't know uh but anyway that's the kind of thought that i have about the and if you look at like German maypoles and stuff, you'll see they've got that ring at the top of them. Um, in fact, I think even, I can't remember from when I was a kid, but I think even English ones kind of have a, some of them do have that ring um, at the top as well. Anyway, not to get too crazy about all of that. Um, you know, what What do I say? Here's the, Here's those numbers again. Um, that's the jumbled up version there and then um, where the hell are they in here uh, hell I don't even know where they are, are in here actually they should they'll correspond with the pretty much with the same um, they, they ought to correspond with the same numbers in here as well the only time that it kind of changes is when you're looking at them that when they're right here oh actually it's I think they're right here actually somewhere where are they um gosh bear with me a second i'm trying to trying to look at stuff here that i should have i should have been a bit more prepared really but it's kind of like as i said this is fresh um i bet people are screaming at the screen now yeah, it's right there idiot come on there's one of them okay Again, oh, that was what's fascinating about this. If you notice the three, the three five eight. This year it's not um, Christmas Eve, but usually that's Christmas Eve, the three hundred fifty eighth day of the year, which is kind of interesting with the the numbers that we have. <laughs> the twelve twenty four here, kind of in the middle of this thing. So that was kind of interesting. And then again, there's the the same 595 you know and again that's going to be wherever it is on the other side it's going to be the same um i want to say there was a oh i'll tell you one other thing let me show you this as well um because there was let me show you on it um what am I doing? I've got another number jumping here to show you. Yeah, here it is. Okay. So I did I didn't just show you this, did I? I don't think so. Uh nine eleven two thousand and one through to four twenty seven. Okay. Uh without the without the end date is eight two six four. If you stick the end date in eight two six five so what was fascinating about eight two six five um in fact i've got to go back to the other chart for this one um there's that other number there look and it's again it's just tying in with them same numbers okay oh one two three as well well to mention that you know <laughs> with all the one two three numbers with and the palin palindromic tropic numbers of the you know the pi 
jumps um, back to nine, you know, from the pi jumps. The number jumps back from um, the the birth of the Hoover Dam back to 911 and also to 211, which were kind of interesting. And also, um, yeah, let's go to that other number now. That's in here as well, but I want to show you it in the other chart, I think. I think I did. Yeah, let's go back to... Let's go to this one, hang on. So you've seen that, that was pretty interesting. So what we want to note from that is that 5-1 is corresponding with the, the eclipse now as well. So that's pretty interesting. And uh, here's this number. Um, what did I say it was? I can't even remember now. Eight, it's this one right here, isn't it? 8,265. Let me double check. Make sure I'm not going... 8,265, yeah? Days. 8,265. So that is pretty darned interesting as well, being at the centre of this thing, kind of. Um, and also the fact that it's, even though it's, you know, this was the original centre here, so this is really, it becomes quite, quite fascinating, doesn't it? Um, that that ties in and then also we had the yeah those same numbers with uh, you know jumbled up again there but the same numbers with Harrison Ford there as well sort of chucked in here very very interesting stuff that's all I got to say about it really um, I think I'm going to leave it there for this one um, was there anything else uh, no, I'm going to leave it there. Otherwise, I'll just we'll just be going around in circles. Hope you enjoyed that. And what I will do is I will try to do a another video, um, kind of trying to I don't know ex explain this a little bit more without doing every single little. I just do like some main points in the next video I guess um, just go back over some of this stuff um, but yeah I don't know anyway um, I'm leaving it there thanks for watching right cheers bye